getting ready for a whole new adventure. Paul True built an impressive CV during his near decade-long run at the helm of the South Africa Sevens team. The World Series title in 2009, the clear highlight. But True is now faced with perhaps an altogether more demanding assignment as he looks to bring success to Kenya. Obviously, I mean, they're not a, a, a full-time in a professional team uh, like South Africa and some of the other countries in the world. Uh, it is difficult because most of their players are students uh, or they're working. Um, so it is difficult when, when you only practice in the morning, you practice in the afternoon and you have to compete against the best in the world. Ready, ready, ready. True follows in the footsteps of another foreign coach in Kenya, replacing Englishman Mike Friday. True feels Friday helped establish important structures, but says changes to the setup will need to be made. Got to use our power. I think Mike, you know, he, uh, he has done a lot in terms of uh, the mental preparation of the team and, and just instilling that belief and desire to be the best team in the world. Uh, and I think we would like to continue that. Um, from a technical perspective, I think it's important for them uh, to start, you know, playing the game uh, uh, in, a, in a different kind of way because obviously we're going to come in with a different, completely different kind of philosophy. And hopefully they're going to start getting into finals a bit more often and hopefully, you know, to win their first tournament. Rugby Sevens is an altogether more important sport now, given it will make its Olympic bow at the Rio Games in 2016. True had wanted to be the coach of South Africa for the Games. That wasn't to be, but his ambition to win Olympic gold, now with Kenya, remains the same. I think they have so much potential. You know, they have awesome athletes, great players. They have the potential to win a tournament. They have the potential to, to be a bit more consistent. And they do have the potential to qualify and hopefully to win a medal you know, for, for Kenya. So True swapped Cape Town for Kenya, although he hopes to return to South Africa for a training camp with Kenya ahead of the Dubai Sevens. True believes the game is developing in Africa, but believes more should be done to promote Rugby Sevens on the continent. Well, I think uh, it's not just important for South Africa and Kenya uh, you know, to, to, to actually to grow the game and to grow the game of Sevens, but I think you know, on the continent, but it's also important for the IRB to keep expanding the game of, of, of Sevens and to make it really a truly a global game. True knows he won't have the same level of funding in Kenya as he enjoyed with South Africa. And he knows he'll be under pressure to show improvement. There's a mountain to climb if Kenya are to join the elite of Rugby Sevens. But True is confident they can do it. Dan Williams, CCTV, Cape Town.